quickly see how the differential in this would be. Uh, Bell's palsy. What would make Bell's palsy more likely if you spoke to someone on the telephone and my skin grafts less likely? Well, there's a weakness. Uh, in a Bell's palsy, uh, there's a weakness on one side of the face and it involves uh, all the muscles uh, of the face. Myasthenia gravis, although it can be eight, what we call asymmetric, one side or the other, uh, usually does affect both sides and um, preferentially will cause uh, drooping of the eye and uh, not as much facial weakness as severe as Bell's palsy, but can cause some facial weakness. And, and also... Does they have um, like a little discharge from the eye? That side of the Bell's palsy is affecting the left area? Well, I mean, you could have a discharge because, again, the eye closure is the problem. The eye's not closing when it should be, so um, your body has to compensate by tearing. Um, but the other thing I wanted to mention also is that with a Bell's palsy, you may improve over several weeks, but with myasthenia gravis, one of the key features is there's fluctuations over the course of minutes or hours. Uh, much worse at the end of the day, usually much better when you first wake up when you haven't used the muscles as much.